Did you know that in your garden there is a famous weed that you can eat? Do you know what it is? Do you know what that weed is? Well, this is a little garden area that I'm uh, working on, and I have a papaya tree planted there, and I'm kind of cleaning it out a little bit. Right over here to the left, you see where the arrow is, that's uh, some rosemary that I that I cut back, and over here I got a citronella plant, and to keep out the mosquitoes, because in Florida they're like birds, they feel like when they when they bite you. Down here is some mint growing. Uh, but then over here, you can see this kind of weed pile that I was going to get ready to uh, go after, but then I'm trying to preserve this anti-inflammatory, highly anti-inflammatory edible weed. And so you can kind of see if you're like an angry weeder like I am because you know, weeds are completely annoying in, in Florida. They grow like trees in no time. So I just kind of want to aggressively just rip them all out. In, uh, <laughs> so I try to keep back my anger and not do that. And so what I did here was very carefully took out the non-edible weed and I left the edible weed and there it is. And this edible weed is known as purslane, P-U-R-S-L-A-N-E. I first learned about purslane. Let's look at a nice one, though, because over to the left, and it's the kind of bed that I'm messing with now, I'm letting purslane grow wild as I can. So you can see over to the left of that current area, here is some purslane growing wild. I first learned about it when I, 20-some years ago, I guess, 15, 20 years ago, when I read Artemis Simopoulos' book on the... Uh, the, the omega diet or the omega plan and she talked about purslane and it was one of the most uh, anti-inflammatory and beneficial healthy plants that uh, the Greeks ate so I became interested in it but never had the occasion uh, to uh, to grow because I mostly lived in condos but now that I'm not here's this bed I'm kind of messing around with and I'm letting the purslane go wild so this is highly anti-inflammatory, highly edible. So if you have it in your property, you can just let it grow and put it in salad. So let's look at this. This is 100 grams of purslane. This is a little more than two cups. So look at the calories. A little more than two cups and just 16 calories in two cups. Just 16 calories, zero sugar. I mean, almost nothing, obviously, just because there are so few calories. And purslane is said to be... Uh, a great source of omega-3s. It has more omega-3s than omega-6s, but at this small amount, you will see that down below here on the, the omega-3, omega-6 area, it doesn't even show up because at just 16 calories, there's less than 0.1 gram of fatty acids. So on this level, it's kind of irrelevant. But what is relevant, but what is relevant is this. This is that same 16 calorie serving and look at how much magnesium and calcium you get so here is a one to one ratio here is your calcium there's magnesium 65 68 68 milligrams of magnesium and calcium and just 16 calories of the amazing purslane now down a little bit lower you can see 494 milligrams of potassium in just 16 calories. This might be this might be the richest the richest of uh, vegetation that we could consume to get potassium adequacy. So here's a another little picture of your purslane kind of growing in this kind of beat up old um, uh, bed that I'm kind of working on. I'm trying to let the purslane go. Next image can you can see how teeny the purslane is right here. And next to it is a non-edible. Very interestingly, the non-edible, um, I'm not sure if this is spurge, it's called spurge or not, but it looks like purslane, and it is not edible. You can see how teeny it is, though. Look how teeny, it's so easy to rip this sucker out. So very carefully avoided that, and now I've got the little purslane that, I'm, that, that I hope will grow. And you see over here, a little bit down a little further, more of the non-edible stuff that I didn't pull out. I'm seeing it right now, actually, in this picture. But here is the purslane that I would love to have grow into that huge patch that you saw earlier. So purslane, here is the patch. Purslane is deflame approved, highly recommended. It has like a lemony kind of uh, flavor to it. So if you see it, make sure you're not eating spurge. Go online, look at the difference between purslane and spurge. Purslane is a succulent. It's kind of like it's got some thickness to it, and it has a lemony kind of essence. And it is completely deflame approved. It really beats 
most of the vegetation up top that you see on the cover of the D-Flame Diet book in terms of nutrient density. And it absolutely crushes whole grains as well. So if you want to wash away the flame and you have an inkling to it, why not check out per, the purslane that probably is growing in your garden beds uh, right now.